dollars, that's what the pussy cost me. And when the nigga started hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastic all, that's what the hoes call me. Mazuma TV, back with some more boxing. All right, guys, shout out the boxing scene for this uh, latest update on the Felix Verdero situation. If you guys aren't keeping up with Felix Verdero, he's supposed to have a fight coming up in uh, June at Madison Square Garden. But I think that fight has been scrapped now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, his last fight against some guy named Oliver Flores, he didn't look so good, and he hasn't been looking good. Um, as much as it hurts for me to say, he has not been looking good in the last couple of fights he has not looked good says Ivan Nahara and uh, I believe that was like late 2015 uh, uh it was a couple years back I believe and he has not been looking that good and uh his team is concerned you know and um he went to go see a sports psychologist that's how deep it had gotten and um prior to that he had gotten into a bad uh motorcycle accident on a on the highway down in Puerto Rico um, so he had to recover from that. He had some prior injuries after the Nahara fight. He had hurt his hand. He had to rehabilitate it, get it back in good shape. Got in the motorcycle accident, had a lot of, uh, <clears throat> had a lot of road rash, especially throughout his face and throughout his body. So he had to let that heal as well. And, um, he looked bad in his last fight, admittedly. A lot of people said that he was in trouble with me personally. I didn't see that. But uh, he was missing a lot of counter shots, and those shots he missed would have definitely had landed if that would have been Verdero uh, that fought Ivan Nahara. So um, with that being said, Bob Arum is saying that uh, he's strongly advising Verdero to move to the United States to train. Now, uh this is because, and this is according to people who know Verdero closely, that he has a lot of distractions out in Puerto Rico. You got to remind yourself, Verdero, uh, they hold him to a high standard because he has a high amateur pedigree. He fought Lomachenko in the amateurs and only lost by a little bit. He was only 17 at the time he had faced uh, Vasil Lomachenko. Vasil was already a gold medalist. So um, he did his thing. He held his own. And he got a lot of respect off of that. And um, he has a lot of distractions out in Puerto Rico. The man's only 23 years old, like Meek Mill said. And I'm only 23. He's in that situation right now. You know what I'm saying? So um, they say he goes to the casino a lot. Um, he likes to hang out with his friends and go motorcycle, uh, motorcycling, whatever the fuck you want to call it. He be riding his motorcycle all throughout the, the country. You know what I'm saying? And he, he just likes to have fun and shit. Because he has friends that that don't share the same mentality as him and have to maintain a healthy lifestyle or whatever he may be influenced by them guys and uh it's, it seems to have a negative turnout as he has not been fighting that well so with that being said i think that bob aram is making a smart choice by advising uh felix Verdero to train out in the united states and it doesn't seem like he's having much fuss about it they either want him to uh, train out in new york los angeles or Las Vegas. Now, uh, they said that they're strongly considering it. His trainer has no problem with that. Uh, my, I had asked my dad what you what he thought of Felix Verdetto's problem was. He said that his mind's not in the game because he has the talent, and obviously he works hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, he didn't get that skill from out of nowhere. He didn't wake up with that skill. He had to work hard for it, you know? And um, so his mind's just not in the game, and it turns out that that had been true. He has some uh, distractions on the sideline, but hopefully uh, he, he moves out to the United States, gets that training and gets the right mindset and uh, come chase Terry Flanagan or whoever uh, has the title um, from WBO and uh, get that world title, become Puerto Rico's next uh, world champion. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of faith in this guy. I never, uh, I never criticized them negatively, and you can say that's some bias because I'm, a, I'm of Puerto Rican descent myself. But it is what it is, man. I, I rock with this guy 100%. He's one of my favorite fighters coming up, and um, I definitely think he's gonna bounce back. But hopefully, he moves to the United States, or it just seems like nothing will get better. This is Mazuma TV. Shout out to uh, y'all for watching this video. Subscribe.